Hi, welcome to My Daily Bitch, a new show discussing the ridiculousness of pop culture through my eyes. Um, this is our first show, so if you find anything my panel or I say offensive, I don't apologize, and you should just stop watching. Um, I don't take myself very seriously, so you shouldn't take me seriously either. And, you know, we're happy to have you. Today, my panel consists of Alex. Uh, you can find her panhandling in front of Grauman's Chinese Theater in Hollywood, dressed as Sailor Moon, and Spencer. You can find him at your local Panda Express taking pictures with his food. Our first topic today is Whitney Houston. Um, if you haven't heard yet because you live under a rock, Whitney Houston has died. She was found in the Beverly, Hilton's Ho Beverly Hilton Hotel yesterday at about four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, we don't know why she died. The only information that has surfaced is that she was found in her bathtub. Um, face people, down. Face down. <laughs> face down in her bathtub by her hairstylist. So. <laughs> you can connect the dots there um, we don't know if it was a suicide obviously we know that Whitney has had lots of drug use in her past so what are your guys' thoughts I blame Bobby Brown <laughs> crack is whack crack is whack <laughs> thoughts on Whitney Asians don't know who Whitney is <laughs> but in speaking of the Grammys um who do you think is going to win Best New or Album of the Year? The nominees, I'll tell you the nominees, are 21 by Adele, Wasting Light by the Foo Fighters, Born This Way by Lady Gaga, doo and Hooligans by Bruno Mars, and Loud by Rihanna. I think Adele's going to sweep it. I definitely I think She Adele's better win. Winning. If Adele doesn't win, I'll be pissed. Yeah, I but might thing, actually get up and punch Adele. I mean, who do we see could be like a dark horse? I'd... Rihanna. Oh, I was going to say yeah. Bruno Mars. I was going to... Yeah, well, I definitely don't think it's... It's not even going this way, or the Foo Fighters. Yeah, yeah I, I've already canceled them out. But uh, Chris Brown and Rihanna were recently spotted to... Together. Yeah, well, the rumors, in Hawaii, right? The rumor is that he's not doing the red carpet because he doesn't want to get asked questions about him and Rihanna. Mm. That's that's why he's... Well, and every time he's carpet. done an interview and they ask questions about Rihanna, like for Good Morning America, remember he threw a brick through the window or some shit like that? Right, but I'm saying like the reason, why, the main reason why he's not doing it because they're not going to ask him about the whole like beat up thing they're going to ask him why they're still hooking up okay but we don't know that they're actually hooking up it's just assumed but they were seen leaving a club right and she posted that ago. one twitter that that one That's tweet right. that like, was like it. like uh you lay with me and you lie to her blah 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 okay well if, Rihanna, we, believed you every, if we believed everything that was on twitter but rihanna tweeted it that just i mean it's true i tweet things all the time but it doesn't mean i'm like sleeping with <laughs> we won't go ever, Okay, but whatever. Rihanna, you can do better than Chris Brown. I don't care. I like Chris Brown. No, um, I refuse. I can't deal. I hate uh, him. She can do better. Yeah. In other, like, news, in other, other music <laughs> news, other music news, Madonna performed at the Super Bowl last weekend. Um, I and she's pissed at MIA. Yeah. Let the head bitch in charge handle business. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just going to say that I thought Madonna did an excellent job at the Super Bowl halftime show. I've watched it about 27 times on YouTube since I actually watched it, and I was I was thoroughly entertained. I mean, I don't really care much about the game, but I thought Madonna did a good job. I was surprised that she could hold her own, because she's kind of getting kind of old. Yeah, she's 53. She's in great shape. I loved LMFAO in it. I loved CeeLo. Yeah, CeeLo was great. Yeah. CeeLo's yeah. good at good. anything, because yeah. he's like crazy enough that he can... Well, it was good, because I felt like this. she stayed relevant. She brought in new acts that really... Mm -hmm. Yeah, she... Yeah, that is true. But I mean, how do we feel she about She made this? some comments that it wasn't MIA's place or time, which it's I It's true. Agree, I think I, I agree with. definitely think MIA yeah. did it intentionally. There's well, no yes, but it's mind. also MIA. Like, that's the kind of a, uh, a behavior I feel like you should expect from her as an artist because that's what. That's, ooh, I mean, him no, listening to but it wasn't the Super Bowl. For under Madonna. Like, it's not. I think, like, it pays. It is disrespectful to Madonna to. I mean, Nicki Minaj can be a little aggressive and, you know you know, has some scandalous lyrics and stuff. And I mean, like, I feel like she kept it very much in under the umbrella of Madonna. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, it also like, I personally don't care what the Christian coalition and those people have to say and are all up in arms because it is just a middle finger. And like, you could barely tell that it actually happened. Yeah, I didn't even know what I happened. Didn't I didn't notice it until I noticed the screen it. flashed yeah, more than her flipping us off. Yeah. But I mean, it is, there were a lot of people watching, so I could understand why some people may find that offensive. I personally don't, but. I don't either. 
Well, that's good to know. Luckily for me, a lot of people didn't know who she was. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> true. <laughs> well, because it was confusing because Nicki Minaj and M and their belt buckles said N M, and I was like, why do they have Nicki Minaj look like? And then she opened her mouth, and I was like, oh, it's M I A. My mom's, who's that? <laughs> In other music news, uh, Beyonce's daughter, Blue Ivy Carter, um, pictures finally arose on Tumblr of what the child looks like, which I thought was interesting that they were posted to Tumblr and not sold to a magazine. Like Not that they need more money. Yeah, exactly. Um, and also that the name is being copyrighted. Oh, although, whoever in their right mind would name their child Blue <laughs> after Jay-Z and Beyonce's child needs medication. Just putting it out there. The name's thriving in your city. But you know projects. why they named it like that. <clears throat> Blue Ivy Carter, Blue for his first album, The her. Blueprint. Ivy, because her favorite number is four. Oh. Carter, because that's Jay Z's last name. Duh. But still, why would you <laughs> name your child after an album that you wrote? I want to name my child after Godric from True Blood. Okay, but that's a little bit different because it's like a legitimate name. Like, I know they people named Blue. I know someone named Blue. Any thoughts on Blue? I just think it's ridiculous because <laughs> celebrities name their kids all these crazy names like poor goopy Gwyneth Paltrow's daughter is named fucking Apple. Like I'd rather be called Apple than Blue yeah. Ivy. Might as well be called Poison Ivy. Or, I don't know. That's just so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Should I be named after a Batman villain? That'd be her stripper name, Poison Ivy. <laughs> Spencer's naming his child Yellow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> moving on. Uh, it was rumored this week that Louis, 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 Louis Vuitton had released a line of condoms. Although they are fake, they're still, a said company has manufactured such and is selling them for $70 a pop. How do we feel about that? I think it's funny. I would totally That's wear a Louis Vuitton condom. I think it's pretentious it's a and I pricey, love it. pricey, but I guess everything Louis Vuitton is pricey. But... Well, you use the condoms for a, a... It's more of a fashion a Yeah, it's a fashion sex. statement. Yeah, like if I was gonna get married, engaged to my boyfriend, I would. We were having sex without or with a condom. I would use a Louis Vuitton condom. It's like in their honeymoon, like too. yeah, yeah, because it'd be special. Yeah, so even though it's a fake Louis Vuitton, special purposes, yeah. All right, moving on from that, shit people say has become a huge phenomenon. It started with shit girls, girls say, and then it was shit girls say to gay guys, and it was. Shit LA girls say, and then shit, shit West, black people say, shit, shit black Asian girls people say, say, to white girls, shit gay people say, you said shit, shit everybody to everybody else says to somebody else. So this is definitely the first trend of 2011. 12. 12. <laughs> I'm a little drunk. Um, how do you feel about that? <laughs> okay. Is it getting old? It's or getting old it real quick. It's getting old. And a lot of them are... It has to be good to yeah, be funny. A lot some of are them, good. And some are not funny. Like, I hate to say it, but a lot of the ones that are girls pretending to be guys aren't funny. <laughs> <laughs> girls, they're well, hilarious. they're all a little bit racist and true, but true in their racist. Like, yeah. it's not racist, stereotyping. Just as long as we don't get too far. Remember there was that one white girl who said that was comments about the Asians at UCLA? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she got bashed pretty bad. Oh, where she I wonder like... what happened to her. Maybe she's with Whitney. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Asians revolt. Yeah. They'll get you. They're scary. Spencer uh, would know. He's quarter quarter. <laughs> Are you Asian or Hawaiian? I guess we'd say I'm like, um, he's, I'm not Hawaiian. What's the term? He's American. Kind of like a... What is the what's term? That, what's those um, hostess Twinkies like yelling the outside while on the inside? You're a Twinkie? <laughs> <laughs> You heard it here first. Spencer is a twink. E. Um, <laughs> Twinkie. <laughs> in other news, um, Usher's ex-wife has asked him for money to take him so she can sue him in court. She was that little Oompa Loompa lady? I think so. Yeah, but that's just dumb. Like, why would you ask somebody for money so you could sue them? I like, mean, where is the where is the logical thought process in that? It is non-existent. <laughs> We're not going to draw any racial stereotypes here, but we'll just leave it at that. Asians <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> It's okay when he says it. Yeah. No, I think I do find that. I mean, like, I don't I know. Just think it's I stupid. I want to know what her attorney said to her. Like, I'm going to go ask my ex husband for money so that I can sue him. Like, what? Who? That was dumb. You're it, dumb. It's yeah. There's a reason why you're losing all your money. It's because you're spending it on dumb shit like that. So get maybe, over it. You should reassess your life. Um, speaking of other divorces, as you all know, Kim Kardashian's fairy tale wedding came to a crashing halt after mere 72 days, which is old news, but 
recently this week, Chris Humphreys released a statement saying that he doesn't want any money from Kim Kardashian, but he just wants her to admit that her marriage was a fraud and was done for publicity. Um, my question to Chris Humphreys is, then why did you do it in the first place? Well, I have a hard time with this because Chris Humphreys is a Minnesota man. And um, <laughs> I'm also from the Midwest, and Midwesterners are just way too nice. And I think he just fell into the trap. He's also kind of daft, like, let's be honest. Oh, no, he's <laughs> definitely special needs. I mean, like, he's slow. So I think he was, like, an easy prey kind of target for her. Well, so that was sad. Not like, I never watch the Kardashians. I find them annoying. annoying, but I only find them annoying because I just want to be them. And that's what I mean. I, I only watch Chloe and Lamar because well, Chloe and Lamar and Rob are all hilarious. Oh, I think I think oh Rob. I don't really know who Rob is. But I also do I also do genuinely think though that like you can't like as much as they are on reality TV and as much as we do think we know about them, like I'm sure there's stuff that we don't know that was going on. Not saying that it wasn't a fraud, but I mean like there could have been more to it than that. Right. Alright, and our last subject of conversation today is um, Demi Moore was recently Supposedly admitted to rehab. We're not sure if she's actually there or going there or not. But last week there was a nine one one call, which if you heard, if you haven't heard, you should listen to it. It's batshit crazy. Well, uh, that's what happens when you get high on nitrous. Yeah. Oxide. So she was doing this thing called whippets, which I, I don't know what whippets are. I know what most drugs are, but I, I've never done whippets or heard of it until recently. And that's Sounds where like you like it, huh? take yeah, yeah. but it's, you take like a a whipped cream can or like an aerosol can and like you inhale the oxygen. But it cuts off the oxygen to your brain for 30 seconds, and it gives you, like, this this feeling of high. So I don't know if you do it, and you sound like you took helium out of balloon, or... No, you, your voice doesn't change. I knew people in high school. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, whippets. How do we feel about whippets? It's just amazing I, to, like, I read what kids are doing these days. Like, when I was a kid, I could have gotten, went to the grocery store and bought as much stupid as I wanted. But now I can only buy one box at a time because people are afraid I'm going to smash it and use it for math. Which is frustrating when you take Sudafed because you're actually ill. Exactly. We won't show her meds. So does that mean like now, like, I know I think to buy like, air, like to buy like the cleaner for your keyboard, like you have mm -hmm. to be over 18. Yeah, so, now, yeah. so now if... And if you buy more than one can, they're like, well, what do you need this for? Yeah. So I'm like, I work in an office. I'm buying supplies. Like... So what, what's the deal with whipped cream now? Can I not buy whipped cream if I'm over the age, under the age of 18? No, they're going to start make, selling it only in like cool whip tubs, I bet you, mm. if it becomes like mm -hmm. a huge phenomenon. Yeah. But what about like Starbucks? They have like the giant ones where it's like... Yeah, like but I don't think the people who work at the Starbucks counters are huffing, yeah. are whipping it behind the counter in between co making coffee. Regardless. Well, but I think she's also going to rehab because she has anorexia again. Mm, that's what I read. Yeah, because yeah, they are not letting her like weigh herself or something was another thing I read. I, mean, I wish people didn't let me weigh. Also, her Macaulay Culkin was a Oh yeah, Macaulay Culkin. If you haven't Google new pictures I of Macaulay Culkin, you, you should do that. I mean, he you should like, feel bad for him yeah. anyway because he looked. Uh, uh, he has been ugly since he grew well, up. Well, now he looks like a Holocaust victim. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's all of our subjects that we're going to talk about today <laughs> because we're not that exciting. Um, at the end of each show, where you name someone who we call the bitch of the week. Um, it's That's so, not a good thing, right? That, no, the, no this well, is I bad. The, this is the, I think the bitch of the week could be bad or good. In this case, it's, it's bad. bad. It's really bad. So if your name is George. And, and you work at the Abbey in West Hollywood. And you're a new waiter there. You're our bitch and of the week. you look like an ugly Daniel Craig. <laughs> um, you're our bitch of the week. Yeah. So let's give a scenario. So You're all sitting down drink. at a table at a bar. Mm -hmm. And the server for that area comes up to you and says, what do you say? <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys going to order or else if not, you guys have to leave. Oh, yeah. Don't sit at my table if you're not going to tip me, basically is what he said in not so many words. Who are you and where do you think you came from to tell people where and when they can sit? So then he, he did proceed at some point to say that, well, I'm going to go talk to my manager. Or whatever. Yeah. She, we should have played the minority card. I mean, I'm not black, but would we have black? Is it because I'm black? You could have been like, is it because I'm Asian? And then Ross was going to be like, is it because I'm Jewish? What about her? You could have said, is it because I'm Mediterranean? But the right was, because I'm a woman? Is it because I'm not a lesbian? He She's not went away, and what I recently found out later was he went and spoke to someone and told that he was wrong. Ha ha! But after sucks to be but, you. So we ordered sixty dollars worth of food and drinks and tipped him three. So sucks 
Saka. So you can't even buy yourself that tiny little French fry you gave us. <laughs> Remember those six dollar French fries? You can't even buy that. Yeah. Yourself, so George. you are our bitch of the week. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will see you next week with a wrap on the week of Valentine's Day. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs>